All right. Um, this all came out of my uh, junk box, so I had all of the chips that, that I needed, uh, except for one. I had the microprocessor, the uh, UART, I had the RAM, I have a ROM, I have the GAL uh, 16V8. Um, I'm missing the 74HC573. I can't believe I don't have one of those, but I've got some of those. I had the RS232 chip. Uh, I had the switches and everything, so I probably need to find a crystal 6.144. I don't think I have that value. Maybe the junk store has it, uh, hopefully. Um, but I thought I would do a video on the EEPROM. Um, uh, I have a, um, uh, for a long time I saved all of the e, all the EEPROMs out of old equipment and stuff so I could reuse it. And uh, you can see that this is the one, uh, a type that has um, uh, the window on it. And it's uh, UV erasable. So um, we will have to... Uh, uh, we'll take a look at this came out of something we can take a look at it on the on the on the prom programmer See if it has a program in it. It probably does. I don't It'll have some bits set anyway um, And we'll need to erase it um, And I found my old EEPROM eraser um, which I had for a long long time ago um, uh, It's a cheapy one uh, called the data race data race 2 um, and uh, that don't think it's gonna focus that close. Um, it has an on-off switch. It has a timer, so it's set to um, it's set something between two and two and eight minutes. So there's an adjustment there um, for the exposure time. And if we look on the inside, let's see that a bit here. Look on the. Um, can you see that now? Oh yeah, you probably can see that now. Uh, uh, there's a, a ultraviolet uh, tube inside. This is a short wavelength tube, so it's really dangerous. I think they're like uh, 265 nanometer wavelengths. And uh, you take the ROM out, and um, like, let's do that. And take the uh, take the ROM out of the board. Bending the pins, okay. And the window side will have to go down, right? So they they kind of go in like that, and you close the door and turn it on, and uh, come back a couple minutes later, and hopefully it's erased. So let's um, let's take it over to the uh, prom um, prom programmer and see if it has anything in it, and see if we can erase it. All right, uh, so the uh, part goes in with pin one registered up at the top. And you flip that down. Uh, you should have uh, some lights here. And then we'll go over here. Sorry about the camera work, but it's a, uh, an MX uh, 27C256 part. And you hit the read button and say read. And there we go. So there is something in the uh, something in the ROM. You could take a look to see if there's any if there's any ASCII in here. Oh, maybe. Uh, hmm. I don't really see anything interesting. Um, so anyway, it is a uh, it is programmed. So let's uh, go back and see if we can erase it. All right. Uh, I don't know where my adapter went, but it uses 24 volts, so I just hooked up the power supply for uh, 24 volts. Uh, this is the part that we're going to uh, erase. We'll just uh, pop it right here. Make sure that the uh, part is centered over the glass. Uh, Close that, and we'll turn it on, and wait, I guess. Okay, um, I did turn it on, and um, a green light came on, 
and then after about six and a half minutes I was timing it, but after about six and a half minutes it started uh, to beep. So the light, the green light came off and it started to beep. Um, I was monitoring the current draw of my power supply, it fell, so the timer circuit still works inside this thing. And um, uh, I did have it turned up to right around the six mark, so six and a half sounds about right. Um, I don't know if that's enough for this old prom, but um, let's, let's go look. All right, we've got the uh, part back in, and we'll come here, hit the read, it says finished. Oh great, and everything is FF. So it doesn't erase to zeros, it races, it races to FF. So it sets everything to a one, and then you go back in and you program it, uh, program it all zeros. Very good. So let's uh, let's find a file and uh, program this thing. Okay, I found uh, the file for Tiny Basic uh, for the 8085. Uh, and you can see there's some uh, ASCII over here saying Tiny Basic 2.0. Uh, Mini 85 is the name of the board. So let's hit program and see what happens. Looks like it's good. Looks uh, we can do a read. Very good. We're all set to go. All right. Uh, it's uh, I've covered the window with some copper tape. I uh, just have a, a roll of copper tape, and uh, that'll block the ultraviolet light. Um, paper labels probably aren't that great, but uh, I use something that's uh, opaque to ultraviolet light, and uh, we're ready to go. So we have ROM and RAM. Wait for a couple other parts and it should should work.